Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm gonna make Exynos disappear like Thanos. Finger snap. Well, I can do that, but I can tell you some good news. And that is, we will definitely never see an Exynos in flagship galaxy models next year, and probably a couple of coming years afterward too. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why we are not gonna see an Exynos in flagship galaxy models in the coming several years, and what chips we will get for S23 and the future of Exynos. But first of all, please hit the like and subscribe button because your click is so powerful like Thanos to spread out this good news. So I really appreciate it. Samsung has decided to put a break on the Exynos chip for its flagship lineup. Some rumors say Samsung has shut down the Exynos project for good, but that's not true and there are two projects still going on at this moment right now. One is on Exynos without Exynos naming and it's the Tensor chip for Google Pixel. Google is powering its Pixel phones with Tensor since Pixel 6 by working with Samsung. The Tensor chip we know is a modified and customized version of Exynos 2100 exclusively for Google. And the current project seems to be for the next generation Pixel. But it's not for the Pixel 7 considering the imminent launch of the phone this October. And the other is Exynos 1380 and it will be the successor of Exynos 1280. This chip will be probably be in mid-range phones such as Galaxy A54 and A34 next year because Exynos 1280 was developed for Samsung's mid-range phones such as A53 and A33. Other than these two chips, there is absolutely no Exynos development going on in Samsung right now. And this brought up a rumor that Samsung is teaching Exynos for good, but according to Samsung, the company is just pausing the short-term projects to focus on a long-term Exynos strategy. So the next question is, what chips will we get for the next generation Galaxy flagship models and what's the future of Exynos or seriously, is there any future for it? I mean, when Samsung announced that it was working with AMD for Exynos 2200, people were really excited about it and expected a lot. But it didn't take long to realize the chip is crap and has to slow down severely to deal with the overheating issue. And it's not just the Exynos 2200, but in general, Exynos has been criticized and hated by many people for many real and legit reasons like battery drain, overheating issue, and thermal throttling. And to talk about the S23 first, Qualcomm has confirmed that the Galaxy S23 next year will be exclusively powered by Snapdragon and it's gonna be 8 Gen 2. The chip will be manufactured by TSMC, not by Samsung's own foundry. So every market will get a TSMC 4 nanometer Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, including Europe, which makes the upcoming year's Galaxy S23 models more desirable to more people. Then, what's gonna happen to Exynos? It might look like Samsung is stepping back from making its own chip, but in fact, it is a strategy move to put more Exynos into its product and it will be more aggressive in expanding the chip to other devices. The ultimate goal here is to fan out Exynos to almost every product that Samsung makes. And if this plan succeeds, we are going to see Exynos not only in Galaxy smartphones, but also in other devices like wearables and laptop computers. Samsung wants its in-house chip to be in almost every product that it makes. The plan is to show us a brand new Exynos chipset at least in 2025 and afterward, we are going to see a sequential application of this new Exynos chip to many devices. To give you an example from Apple, after a successful launch of M1 processor, we saw the chip expanding from MacBook to iPad Pro, iPad Air, and many other devices. Samsung is thinking to do the same thing, so it has paused almost all of the projects to utilize resources efficiently for the development of the new Exynos chip. So this is the reason why we are not going to see Exynos in flagship Galaxy models in a coming couple of years. In the meantime, Samsung is publishing a series of interviews with its development teams on its newsroom website to help the understanding of consumers about Exynos. It's gonna be a trilogy, and the first interview is already published on the website, which I will leave the link in the description down below. Will Samsung's new plan for Exynos be successful? What do you think? Please leave a comment and share your thought on this. 
Samsung better do good this time. And that's all for today. And thanks for watching my video today. And as always, see ya.